uh, fishing game. And before class, I got uh, four volunteers. We'll have them come up uh, in a bit. Um, but first, I want to describe the fishing game so you guys know what to expect. I've got over here uh, on these dowels uh, a series of magnets on the end. These magnets are designed to pick up a series of jingle bells. And they take on four colors. This floor up here, which not all of you will be able to see, but you are welcome once we uh, play the game uh, to get to a spot where you can see the floor. I'm just going to spread these out all across the floor. I've got lots of gold jingle bells, some purple, some blue, and some silver. You can see they all take on uh, different values. And uh, my four volunteers will be coming up here. Uh, they will be picking up a fishing rod, and each of them has a blue cup, which sort of uh, serves as the, uh, the holding tank uh, on their boat. Um, and uh, at the dock here, they will go out from the dock, they'll go out here to the ocean, they will find themselves one of these fish, they'll transport it back to the dock, and they'll take it off. And as many of these fish as they can get back to the dock in 30 seconds would represent their catch, and will tally up their success in getting the fish out of the ocean um, at two intervals here. The first interval would be during the first 30 seconds, these are the value of the fish, um, and then during the second 30 seconds, these are the new values of the fish uh, that are down here in the ocean. Uh, to make it more fun, once they come up here, I'm going to put them on the mic. They're going to introduce themselves, and you can wager on one of them. That's the way it works. Um, however well they do is the amount of participation points you get. So you can pick your champion for the day, um, and then you can root them on, hopefully to victory, here in the fishing game. Any questions? All right, come on up. i got my four volunteers. And I'm going to switch over to the document camera. And I'm going to give them the mic. They're going to say their name. And if they want to say anything about how great they are at this game and how excited they are and how ruthless they are or whatever, um, then uh, they can motivate you to pick them. Okay? So that's the idea. There you go. Colin, every summer my brother and I go on a fishing trip. <laughs> I'm Roz. I was an all-stage fisher for high school, my high school fishing team. I'm Fabia, and I'm nothing in fishing. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'm Gaius. She's the same as Mom. I've never been fishing. Okay. So you just say your names one more time for everybody to write down on their own sheet of paper your name and the name of your champion. Okay. I'm Gaius. Fabia. Roz. Cole. You guys can come on over here. Anybody else uh, have a sheet? Thank you. All right, awesome. Now, so again, try to get to a vantage point where you can see what's happening here and uh, you guys are ready. They're going to put their hands on the desk, and then they're going to have 30 seconds. I will keep track of the 30 seconds over here, and then we'll see how well they... Guys, you, 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 you count the, like, the, the second time you it uh, Yeah, I'll count it separately the second time, and they work double the second time. So just for the sake of reference, just to make sure everybody's on the same page, certain fish are worth more. Silver, then blue, then purple, then gold. Everybody good? Ready, set, go. Go. Get some silver. Come on, come on. Come on, Ross. Very good. Uh, I, I regulated as best I could. Okay. Try to do my best. Okay. So, 
Um, we need to find out what you guys were able to get. So if you guys can each look at what your catch is and real quickly do the math here, um, then I can report the results uh, over here. I'll let you guys actually uh, report them yourselves. So again, uh, silver is 500, blue is 250, and the purple is 100, and the gold are 50. You guys want to go first over here? 2050. Okay, so you've got uh, four of the silver bells and one of the gold. Excellent job right there. 250? What do you got? Oh, 1,100. 1,100? Okay, who's next? 2,500. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, we need to verify this. Uh, 2,050. Right. Okay. 2,600. 2,600. Oh. That's awesome. Very well done. Those are our intermediate results. So um, I need to come back to Go, here. Ross. Yeah. Since I'm paying you guys to fish, you need to give me uh, your catch. I need to get a little catch. There we go. All right, let me check here. Everything is good. Okay, fantastic. Now we're going to go for uh, round uh, two. In round two, the only difference is that the value of the fish are double. So we've got silver is 1,000. And it uh, goes on down from there, blue, purple, and gold. Any questions? Okay, ready? Set? Go! Go! Gone. Um, and in fact, 
right here at the end, I've got mostly goldfish and I've got a few of the purples. The blue and the silver are completely gone. So we've eradicated two species. Um, the purple ones down here are on life support. Um, and then there's just a few of these goldfish left in the ocean. And you know what? If I sent them back out again for a third round, they wouldn't care. They'd get all of these fish and there'd be nothing left in the ocean. That's the basic tragedy of the commons. But it's more than that. It's more because if we had thought about this from a sustainable standpoint, what would you have wanted them to do if they could coordinate? Anybody have an answer? Yeah. I'll uh, like, agree that everyone's going to get the same amount of silver in the second round. And everyone will be on the more that's right. What you really want them to do is to think about a way of rationing the silver ones so that they could be there still in the second round when they were worth double. Um, that didn't happen. There was no reason to think that it could happen, right? Because in this particular case, what you get is the incentive is to get it now before someone else gets it. Um, and so it, actually the perfect solution would have been Let's uh, harvest maybe a lot of the purple ones in the first round, leave all of the blues and the silvers to the next round where they're worth more. That would have been more for everybody here in society, and it would have preserved the species longer. It won't happen in a series uh, uh, situation where there's common property uh, problem for it. Okay. So again, thanks guys for doing it. Very well done.